Hey there, Jessica here from JewelryTutorialHQ.com. Today, I'm going to show you how to make an adjustable wire bangle bracelet. There are lots of different ways you can make bracelets like this. I've seen a lot of people making them with artistic wire, but I actually think that's probably not the best way to go because artistic wire is very soft wire, so those bangles tend to bend out of shape really easily. The easiest way, as far as I'm concerned, is actually to use memory wire. So that's what I'm demonstrating this bracelet on today, so we don't have to mess with shaping or hardening the wire or anything that goes along with working with softer wires. You'll need the bracelet size memory wire coil for this project, and I'm using a silver plated version because I'm going to add some sterling silver charms, but any finish that you want to use will do. Very important, when you're working with memory wire, you always want to use tools that are specifically for cutting memory wire so you don't ruin your good wire cutters. These are memory wire shears made for cutting steel, which is a lot harder than many other jewelry wire materials that you might be used to working with. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your memory wire coil and you want to cut off about one and a half loops. So see where the wire overlaps here and go to the other side. Make sure you're on the second coil down and cut it right about there. So just about one and a half loops. It doesn't have to be too exact here. And that's going to give you enough wire to overlap so that your bangle will be adjustable. You'll also need a pair of round nose pliers and some flat nose or chain nose pliers. I like to use my heftier tools when I'm working with memory wire since it's pretty hard on your tools. So just keep that in mind. After you've cut your wire, you come in here and we're going to turn a loop in one of the ends here. I'm going to turn the loop out so that it's facing away from the rest of the coil just so it's easier to work with. Roll that loop around. If you're used to working with silver and other regular jewelry metals, this wire is going to seem really hard to work with. So you're going to roll that loop around, make sure it is closed up all the way. You may need to come in with your flat nose or chain nose pliers and just close that loop up the rest of the way. And you can just do that by wiggling it front to back. Okay, so I've messed up the shape of the loop, but that's okay because we're going to turn it on its side. So here we want to bend this at a 90 degree angle. So I'm going to bend this holding it like this. I'm going to bend it up towards me or straight up to the ceiling, grabbing it with my flat nose pliers and I'm just going to bend it like that. Okay. Now at this point, if you want to add some beads, you're going to go ahead and do that. We need to make sure that the beads are going to be about three quarters of the way around. I'm using four millimeter check glass beads and for this size you'll need about 24 or 26 of them. Just make sure that the holes are going to be big enough to fit over 22 gauge wire, which is about 0.64 millimeters in diameter. Okay, that looks good to me. So now that I've got my beads where I want them, I'm going to go ahead and slide the other end of the wire through the open loop. At this point, you'll want to double check and make sure you just have about 3 eighths of an inch or about 9 to 10 millimeters of wire overlapping the last couple of beads here. That's about how much wire you'll need to make a loop and have that loop land in the right spot outside the beads. So now I'm going to turn the loop in this end. And before I close this loop up all the way, I'm going to go ahead and slide on all my charms since I've already got them made. We're not going to learn how to wire wrap dangles in this video. I do have another video that shows you how to do that. And if you're new to wire wrapping and you want to learn all the basics, I have a free wire wrapping crash course that's three video lessons that will teach you everything you need to know to make wrapped loops and dangles properly. You can find it at my website at jewelrytutorialhq.com slash free workshop. Now make sure the beads are in the right spot. And before we close up this loop, we need to bend it. This loop is facing this way, so we need this one to face this way in towards the other piece of the wire. And I'm just going to hook this other wire through the open loop there and come back and close that second loop up really well. 
So that's how to make an adjustable wire bangle bracelet. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, you can come join me in a free online wire wrapping class where I'll teach you how to make wire wrap loops and dangles so you can make bracelets, necklaces, and earrings. You can sign up, it's totally free, at jewelrytutorialhq.com slash free workshop. I hope to see you there. Until next time.